Let's do it. It's here. Miss USA prelims for the 2020 edition are over and I am here to weigh in and share my thoughts on it. Welcome to my channel. I'm Danny Walker. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that you love this content, that you'll stick around to subscribe, to support the channel, and also to hit the notifications bell so you know when new episodes come out. Let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five favorites for swim and for gown and be weighing in in on what happened last night. So let's get started with our swim competition here. The, well, actually, you know what? Backtrack. The first thing I'm going to say is the opening number and, or, you know, their, their introductions. I don't mind contestants wearing the same opening number, but in the words of my cousin Cheyenne, these outfits were fabulous for no one. And honestly, they reminded me of the old National American Miss national opening number outfits. Who remembers those? Ladies, comment down below if you remember wearing those things. Oh my gosh, they like, never fit anybody really. Really well. I never felt like they complimented anyone on stage. They were just there for the sake of us matching. That's really how I felt, but I could see the Elvis inspiration, the jumpsuit, the rhinestones. I totally get it. I just would have preferred a different jumpsuit if we were going to go that route. Now let's talk about swim, my favorites for this. So obviously New York, right? Like I've been talking about her and I don't think that she she didn't fail me last night, right? Like she met expectation for me and I just feel like she was so confident for the swimsuit competition. She was so self-assured and she knew like she's just killing it on stage. So an absolute standout. Next, Mississippi. So Mississippi is a former Miss America title holder and I didn't know how that would turn out on stage. Like how could that possibly affect her performance? So for me, that was just speculation. And I just thought that she was just so stunning on stage last night. Absolutely loved it. I loved her confidence. I thought that she just did a phenomenal job. Oklahoma. Okay, so, okay, I didn't say that on purpose. If you guys know the musical Oklahoma, that's in the song. That was an accident. All right, so <laughs> Oklahoma was stunning for swim, and she's also been one of the contestants that I really talked about. Her beauty is just undeniable, I think, on stage, and she also has the performance to back it up. So just one of my my favorites. Idaho. Oh my gosh. Was anybody just speechless when they saw that first shot of her on stage? Comment speechless down below. Oh my gosh. Right when that camera hit her face, I was like, oh, Kim. Yes. Okay. So I love Kim. She's a part of our Pageants Northwest sisterhood. So obviously, you know, I'm going to be a little bit biased rooting for Pageants Northwest. Uh, she was just, she was just gorgeous, stunning, fabulous. And I was just hoping and praying she was going to wear her hair straight just because I know that her hair, it's, it's really thick. It just doesn't hold a curl as well. So unfortunately, if you have super thick hair like that, that doesn't hold a curl, sometimes you are limited with uh, your styling options for what's going to look your personal best on stage. So I was really excited to see her rock that straight hair and she just she just looked incredible. I talked about her a lot in other episodes and I told a lot of friends last night, I feel like she's just this dark horse that's gonna come out of nowhere and indeed she did and I'm thrilled. Massachusetts, oh my gosh. I feel like she may have had the strongest swimsuit performance last night and it was just solid. She wasn't over the top. Um, she was like for me, the perfect amount of confidence and she looks stunning on stage. So huge, huge favorite. I've talked about her in other episodes. I also mentioned how I feel like I lost sight of her, like she started getting lost in the mix. But wow, she is back. She is just exceeding expectations. So love her. Other favorites, Virginia, Texas, Tennessee, New Jersey, Maryland, Louisiana, love her, Hawaii, Georgia, DC, and Arkansas. Since we are transitioning to gown, while we're at it, please do me a favor, screenshot this episode, post it to an Instagram story, tag and hashtag me at Danny Walker, also hashtag your favorite contestants, show your support for them, let them know that they did an awesome job last night, because they definitely did. 
for gown. I have my top five favorites for the evening gown competition that I will share. And we're gonna start with Oklahoma. I think she did a phenomenal job. I feel like the gown was really safe. So I wasn't a huge fan of the gown, but I do understand that there really aren't that many options when you have one sponsor and that many contestants. And it's hard to be original, so a lot of the times it's easier, I, I've said this in other videos, to go with something simple, basic that you know is just gonna look nice on you. So I thought she did a phenomenal job. I really love when she flipped that fabric. Tennessee, okay, yes, Tennessee. I put her in my top five. I thought that she did a phenomenal job. If you guys followed her at state, her state gown was very similar to what she wore for prelims, except it was all blinged out. And hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I just think that she was so confident on stage and did a phenomenal job. I think that her hair, makeup, styling, all of that looked beautiful. California, ooh, so excited for California. So another contestant here who went with a safer gown, but I think she still looked really Really elegant and I talked about the styling I would suggest for her for nationals in a previous episode that you can check out and after I released that episode where I commented that I loved her hair for gown just pulled back in that low bun the earrings were perfect everything and in the styling of that looked really great for her for state and I would like to see that carry over to the national pageant she messaged me and she was like okay you you may just be seeing some of that stuff at nationals so I was super excited to see that styling carry over I think it stood out guys I think that she just looked so elegant on stage, so classic, and she did a phenomenal job. I feel like you should know that she's gonna already be in my top five, and that's New York. Sorry guys, I'm just a huge fan. I think that she did really great. Actually, my one note for this performance is just like relax and have a little bit more fun. I feel like she knows what she's there to do. She's got this fierce walk, but now is the time to enjoy yourself on stage. So I really hope that we see a relaxed performance for finals because I love New York. Last is Idaho oh my gosh so I was so worried about her gown and I had talked to Kim right after she won and she was telling me some of the ideas that she had for her gown but I know the limitations that the contestants have when it comes to styling something with Sherry Hill and uh, she was telling me these ideas and I said listen if you're gonna do the high neck like you want add a slit open up the back of that gown like that's what you need for the stage and she did, and this gown is, yeah, we've seen liquid beaded, but we haven't seen this exact style. The color was stunning on her. She didn't play it safe with like a typical color. Cause I feel like blue, blue is common, but we don't see it as much. It's actually reminded me like Pia, the blue, and she's a Filipina. So it's just, you know, kind of reminiscent of that. But guys, liquid beaded gowns are not easy to walk in. They're super heavy. They're usually like 20 to 30 pounds and, uh, you can feel the weight of them. And I think that she did a phenomenal job walking in that gown. And once again, her face on the screen, oh my gosh, like face, face, face all day. She's so stunning. And what I love about Kim, guys, because I don't want to just talk about her beauty, is her internal beauty. And that's one thing that really surprised me about her. I got to know her before she won Idaho USA, and then I got to know her more after she won Idaho USA when we roomed together. And she is like the sweetest, kindest, most sincere person. She it if you get the chance to meet her, she is so sincere, so down to earth, she will shock you. And uh, I've gone to events with her and I've seen people be drawn to her in a room. And I've seen how she interacts with them and that she gives them a lot of time and makes everyone feel special. And I think that that's a trademark of a great title holder. And, and I think that we could very well see Idaho in a top five. I've loved the comments of a lot of you guys supporting her and I couldn't fully just like invest and say, yes, she's gonna be in a top five, which, you know, judges might think differently, but I couldn't invest because historically the styling in, in the Pacific Northwest for contestants hasn't been that great, just being honest. And I think that that's always what could have prevented some great title holders from really moving forward. But I think that, guys, Kim looked phenomenal, phenomenal. And like her in that gown, I can see her winning. Like I can see a crown on her head. All right, let's go over my other favorites. Texas, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Montana, Mississippi, Massachusetts, Louisiana, Indiana, Hawaii, Texas, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Montana, yay, go Montana, Mississippi, Massachusetts, Louisiana, Indiana, Hawaii, Georgia, District of Columbia. 
Those were my other favorites, guys. I want to know yours. Uh, please comment your favorites down below. Please be positive. Support the contestants that you love. You don't have to say anything negative about the contestants that you're not a fan of. Nobody's requiring you to do that. So please be supportive of our ladies representing their states and just continue to cheer for them. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope that you really enjoyed it enough to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up. Also to share it with your friends. That really helps the channel and really helps it to grow. And honestly, the growth of my channel is all thanks to you. So I really appreciate you. And because of that, I love giving out free resources. If you watch my other episodes, guys, I have a few of those. I'm gonna link my pageant prep course down in the description below. It's a huge resource for contestants. And you're going to learn a lot by joining me in that. So take advantage of it. Just click the description below and then come back for new episodes next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.